we're going to do an easy exercise to help boost the energy of the body. Uh, we're going to do some massage of this area because this area in Chinese medicine and Taoism pertains to the spleen and the stomach and the uh, body's ability to transform food into energy. So we're going to boost this area so that the body can gain more energy from our food and make this area more healthy. So it's particularly good if you're someone who tends to feel uh, tired very often or maybe have a cold abdomen or digestion tends to be a bit weaker or you just generally want uh, a boost. I quite often teach this one on our courses if the students are particularly tired uh, in one session just do this in the beginning or in the end to just give a little energy boost um, and if you're someone who has felt tired like long term or have had digestive problems for a longer period of time then maybe try to do this exercise every day or every other day for 10 to 15 minutes for a few weeks and see if you gain any benefit from it um, I particularly have in the past so you can Play with it, see how it if it helps you. I'm often quite surprised how such an easy exercise can uh, give such a strong energy boost, actually. So we're gonna try it. What we're gonna start with is just laying down flat on our back. So get comfortable, just make sure that you're laying on a surface that's warm enough. We don't want to lay on a cold floor, then we'll put a bit of cold into the body, so it can be on a yoga mat like this or on the bed. Uh, we're going to start with just taking a few deep breaths. So, so breathe in through the whole body. And breathe out. And take another deep breath. Let it, the breath descend deep into the abdomen. And breathe out. As you breathe out, feel that release of the tissues through the whole abdomen to just help create a little bit more flow through this area and start releasing stuck areas. So a few more times, slowly breathe in, feel the whole lungs and the abdomen. And just release the air out, let it release the area. Three more times. Make sure you have a little bit of a space underneath your lower back as well. So the abdomen is a little bit more lengthened and the spine is in a natural curve. That helps the flow even better. And next time you breathe out, also try to release mentally. So that any mental tension that might be causing the area to grip can release. So do that two times, breathe in and breathe out, mentally relax. And then you're going to stay laying down, but I'm going to sit up so you can see. So now we're going to take one hand and place the other one on top, doesn't matter which one. And we're just going to begin to warm up the abdomen and the tissues. So it's quite light pressure to begin with. And we're going to keep the mind just listening, resting underneath the surface of the, surface of the palm. Just keep it fairly slow. Keep the nice deep breathing.
and the other direction. And then make sure you're going clockwise. So we want to get the send down the left side, up the right side, the same direction as the large intestine flows. And the mind just relaxedly listens to the abdomen. No thoughts, particularly no worries. And then take the hands off to the side. Take two nice deep breaths, listen to this area. May already start to feel a little bit more active because of the circular motion of the hands. And then we're going to start to free up the area a little bit more before we just boost it. So we're going to take the side of the base of the thumb and we're going to place it in on the lower side, on the right side, the base of the large intestine. And we're going to make small circles, clockwise circles. And we're slowly going to work these small circles through the large intestine area. Large intestine runs here below the diaphragm and then down the side and then down the bottom. So we come up the right side underneath the ribs. Light pressure. But a, li a little bit deeper than, than we did earlier. So I guess it's actually sort of medium pressure, a little bit harder now. Just keep those small circles going. And keep the nice, smooth, deep releasing breathing. And if any area feels a little bit more stuck, just stay a little bit extra there. Breathe nice and deep. And on the out breath, when the abdomen releases, air goes out. Let those circles penetrate a little bit deeper into the area. So we get a movement, a wave of the breath, freeing it up at the same time as we're massaging. And just see maybe some other area needs some other work, some more work. And just move the hands to that area. Take the hands off to the sides of the body. Take three nice deep breaths. Just listen to your body and your abdomen. Just 
to breathe out and release the tissues, release your mind. And then we're going to work on two points that uh, particularly freeze uh, acupuncture points to freeze up the intestines and also boost the stomach. So we go, we find the navel and then we take two thumbs out to the side of the navel and we push in and we're going to massage this area. You can either do it with the base of the thumb or top of the finger. This point is called stomach 25. Tian Shu, Heavenly Pivot. And just circles. Or if you're doing with the thumb, you can hold it, release. Release the tissues around the thumb, release the mind. And take it off, and then the other side, find the navel, two thumbs, breath distance out. There we have, stomach 25, either place the side of the thumb, or the top of your thumb, in, and massage. And you can listen, sometimes slower circles, sometimes faster circles are good. And then push the top of the thumb in. Breathe nice and deep, release the tissues around the thumb, release the mind. The more we stimulate this point, the more active it becomes. One last deep breath. And take the arms out by the sides of the body. Just take a couple nice deep breaths. Listen to the abdomen. Let that breath send the wave up and down through the abdomen. <sighs> Let it free up more. There may be some gurgling and some more space starting to take place now. may start feeling at this point that the circulation through the body is starting to become more active or different. That's good. Oh, the tissues in the abdomen may just start to feel a bit different or a bit freer.
Okay, so if you wish to, you can stay longer on either of these exercises or do one of them, the large intestine freeing one one day and then the other one on the here another day, focus a bit more on the stomach 25 points another day, so you can circulate it a little bit. Or if you have a long session, you can do them all and you're enjoying it. Okay, so this will help free it up. And now we're going to help boost and nourish the area. Okay, so I'm going to place one hand on top, make sure the whole flat of the palm is touching the body, and then the other one. And we want the center of the palm over the center of the palm, where we have energetic points called La Gong. So they help affect each other and the space in the abdomen. And we're going to start with small circles around the navel. We start clockwise. And the mind doesn't need to do anything, just relax, listen to this space. The more we can mentally release, the deeper the nourishing effect becomes because if we have thoughts and different emotions going, then different emotions create different tightnesses and chi flows inside the body. And we want to bring the body to a neutral, free flowing state. So, as mentally released as possible, will help the exercises work even deeper. Now the pressure is quite light again because it's more the warming and nourishing uh, effect of the palms that we want to penetrate into the region at the center of the body. Okay, and gradually let the circles become bigger and bigger until after a few circles. The circle goes all the way to the side of the body, all the way to the base, close to the pelvis, close to the base of the ribs. Just let yourself zone out of everything else in life. It's only this nourishing massage that matters right now. The effect it will help produce inside the body on the chi flow and the blood flow, nourishing the organs. So the organs will be able to transform your food into energy at a better rate. And slowly make the circle smaller, winding it in closer to the center of the abdomen again. One time of the day when it's really nice to do this is just before sleep. Helps you also put you in a good state for sleeping and 
enables your tissues to free up in the night. So when you're breathing in the night, maybe your abdomen will become more nourished. Or you can do it any time in the day. You may have a little dip or just any time you feel is good. And then when you come into the navel again, just rest the hands on the abdomen. It's a matter if they separate a little bit now. And then small circles the other direction. Don't worry if your arms or your shoulders get a bit achy, just a sign there's a bit of stored habitual tension there. That doesn't need to be there. That's not really important right now, so just forget about that ache if you have it and just listen to the abdomen. Gradually make those circles become bigger. until it fills the whole abdomen all the way out to the side base of the ribs plus another abdomen You may also find the circulation out of your limbs increases, and your feet may start feeling warmer as the center becomes more boosted. This, the center where the stomach and the spleen is, that's also the area that sends out energy and nourishing chi and warmth to the body. So as this functions better and the chi flows better, it will make the limbs warmer and more nourished. Mm and the different areas of the body, not just the limbs. Then gradually make the circle smaller. Until it's very close to your abdomen. And I want to make sure we finish with a few circles clockwise, the same direction as the large intestine. A few small ones and a few big ones. And just breathe, relax the mind. Last deep breaths now. And bring a light smile to your face. This helps the body relax even more internally. Like when we're happy and laughing, the whole the chi slackens through the body and it makes us more relaxed. So by adding a smile, you can help create this good effect inside the body and nourish yourselves with that. Last big one, all the way through the large intestine, and then bring it in to the navel. And 
And then just place your hands by the sides of the body. Just breathe. And just be aware of how the body feels inside now for a few breaths. I think this part is really interesting. Just feeling the effect of the exercises, letting that effect sink a little deeper, and our mind acknowledging that change. So that can become, start to become our new normal. If you want to, you can pause the video and stay with this for longer if this feels beneficial. Or we will do the last nourishing, tonifying thing for our energy. So, this one we place the hands a little bit higher on the abdomen. So, if we have the navel here, we place one uh, width of the hand and the thumb above the navel and here that's where we want to place the center of the palm there and when you're laying down we're just gonna keep have the palms resting here this is the the epicenter for the body's transformational energy of food into energy so we're just gonna rest here let it get warmed by our palms and the mind, same as before, don't worry about anything, just listening inside this area now. The pressure is light so the breath can be free. Keep the gentle smile on the face. Just listen to the center for a few more breaths. And if you wish to, you can stay with this for longer. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to draw it too close here, bringing the arms down by the sides of the body. And just facing your mind through the whole body, just hanging it. For a few breaths.
So hopefully that helped create some change in your abdomen and your circulation of chi and blood. And don't worry if you have different emotions or achy areas. We all have them in different places at different varying degrees depending on uh, how emotionally stressed we are and what's going on in our life. And if you just do this over a period of time, a few weeks and 10-15 minutes every day or every other day, I'm very sure you will find that things will change and free up and those achy areas and emotions that may come up uh, may lessen. I definitely found this when I did this regularly for a period of time. And another benefit I felt was that the energy felt like it got stronger around the center, so it felt like everything naturally pulled in more around the center, which is uh, what we want when, this, when the energy is healthy in this area. If this energy around here becomes weak, then it become, can feel unbound uh, and swollen and digestive power becomes weaker so if we manage to strengthen it it will just feel like it naturally pulls in and it just feels uh, stronger uh, I don't know how to explain it but I'm sure you you felt like that in your life um, or if you do it regularly for time period of time see if see if the same will happen for you okay good luck with the practices <laughs>